Hi, my name is Justin Doverspike, and I came into the rave scene in September of the year 2000. Uh, I was at a Wheatus and Zebrahead concert, and I had run into a girl in line that asked me if I wanted to go to a rave with her in a couple weeks, and I was already interested in the music a little bit, um, and we went to it it was great uh, I got right in at the end of the entire illegal throw parties and warehouses uh, era um, soon after I started and I was in some crazy sketchy places that definitely the floor was barely able to support the people many a times um, we we were. I was raving for about a year. Whenever uh, fire codes all changed and all these crazy venues that I was going to just ceased to exist, and uh, it was a lot harder to get into these abandoned warehouses because they had uh, upped all kinds of security measures and stuff like that, and laws were getting passed to stop that kind of stuff from happening. Uh, I would say later that next year I started DJing because I had moved in with a girl who had turntables at her house and I just instantly started playing with them and she wasn't really interested in them so I played with them a lot more than she did uh, and I started DJing and I would just wait underneath bridges in Pittsburgh at these illegal outdoor parties uh, where there would just be no lineup of DJs and anybody that brought records could jump on as long as there wasn't anybody in line and I would wait until 4 or 5 in the morning play two records and then get kicked off and because the person who owned the turntables wanted to go home uh, and did that a lot and tried to play some like open table nights uh, and never really got anywhere with that uh, because I was playing things like Broken Noise and just Old Jungle and stuff like that. The, the, the jungle and drum and bass was oversaturated and uh, nobody really wanted to hear Broken Noise, obscene sampled music. Uh, so I, I started playing house music uh, because there was a lot of just good house, A.C. Slater and Be Rich and... All that got me turned on to that kind of baseline house with uh, and then I just started getting bookings because you know house music it's uh, it's very popular so I played house music for a little bit just to get my foot in the door some places uh, and then around later later in 2008 uh, I heard dubstep for the first time and I was like, wow, this is really crazy. This has a lot of potential for, you know, being just really off the wall. And that was the kind of stuff that I liked in breakcore. So I started playing that uh, a little bit more and more and mixing it into my house sets. I'd start out with house and then just kind of build my speed up until I was into that dubstep, uh, played that out a lot. And then it just kept getting noisier and noisier, and I just kept leaning into it. So it all kind of came full circle. I got to play this noisy music that I always wanted to play, and I was loving it. And then it just got so popular, and I got to open up for all these crazy big names that were just getting huge because of the boom of dubstep. And I got all these crazy opportunities um, to see all these people that are just legendary now. Um, and I remember one time we were in the green room, uh, and Skrillex was coming and everybody was just so hype. He was just, he was just brand new, super hype. Like he was the next big thing for sure. And everybody knew it, but it wasn't quite a huge show yet. It was maybe a 500 capacity show. Uh, he comes in, uh, with a cup full of yellow liquid and he said that he had to had to piss on the bus or on the ride here and he just pissed in this cup and he wanted to dump it out in the bathroom but or somebody was already in the bathroom uh so he sets it down and this fangirl i guess saw that he set down this yellow liquid and thought it was a beer 
And I think like an attempt to, you know, force an interaction, she picked up the drink and started to sip from it. And we just all stared in horror as it happened. And she put it down because she obviously knew that she she had fucked up. Um, and it just I, I just always remember watching a girl drink Skrillex's piss in the green room while all these other people were just trying to sit down and talk to him. I watched somebody ask him for his AIM name. It just, it just seemed like it, it was, it was a lot to him. Uh, and I, I just never really wanted to approach, uh, headliners like that because it, it has to be so weird for them and awkward for them, but I'm sure a lot of them love it, but it just, it just seems, seems really weird. Tell me what you gon' do When you hear the bump one, two Cause we out of this world Space bad production I bet Mr. Bulls know If you didn't, now you know Cause it's out of this world Space bad production 